Welcome back to the You Can Do More YouTube channel, where each week I share videos designed to help athletes, parents, and coaches better understand and navigate the collegiate recruiting process. Videos that are designed to help you get recruited. So you say your goal, and it's a great goal to have. Your goal is to get awarded a scholarship in your sport at the highest level possible, the Division I level. So in football, at the FBS level, which is the highest level possible, what are your odds of getting that scholarship? Is it 1 in 10, 1 in 20, 1 in 50, 1 in 75, 1 in 100, 1 in 1,000? What are your odds? And what about the other Division I sports? What are the odds of getting awarded a scholarship in those sports? We're going to figure out all of this and answer those questions in this week's episode, What are the Odds? So I'm guessing that you're a lot like many other high school athletes that I visit with. You're motivated, you're ambitious, you're talented, and you want to compete at the highest level possible. A major college in a major conference, the big boys, FBS. In football, that's the FBS level. In, in football, there's actually two Division I levels, FBS and FCS. We'll talk all about that alphabet soup in a later episode, but right now just know that the FBS is the top level. So your goal is to get a scholarship at, the, at an FBS school. So back to the, the gambling and crapshoot analogy. What are your odds? What are your odds in getting that scholarship? Well, let's calculate that. Let's figure that out. In order to calculate that, we have to have two numbers. We have to know the number of scholarships that are available each year at the FBS level, and we have to know how many people you're going to be competing against, how many high school seniors are participating in your sport in the United States. And, and right now we're talking about football. So how many seniors are participating in football in the United States? Now this is another example of, a, and a reminder, you're going to be competing nationally. You're gonna be competing against everybody in the country for that scholarship aid. So in order to get that first number, the number of scholarships are available. The first thing we have to know is the number of FBS schools that are participating in football. And that's about 120 schools participate at the FBS level. The next thing we need to know is how many scholarships each one of those FBS schools has. Well, each school can have a maximum number of 85 scholarships in their program. Now that's not 85 each year that they award, but that's 85 total. The maximum amount of scholarships that they can offer each year, the maximum number is 25, but that's not the average. You can see in each school, you've got four different classes, freshmen through seniors. That's not in, even including a fifth year uh, redshirt senior. If each one of those classes had the maximum amount, 25, and there was no attrition, you'd be at 100 scholarships. You'd already be over that limit. So the average number of scholarships that are awarded each year to FBS school is about 21. So to get that top number, to get that number of scholarships that are awarded each year, we've got 120 FBS schools. They award about 21 scholarships each year. So the total number of scholarships that are awarded each year at the FBS level is about 2,500. Now that bottom number, how many, how many students participate? How many seniors participate each year in football in the United States? In the United States, it's about, it's about 250,000, about a quarter million people you'll be competing against. So in order to figure out the ratio, in order to figure out what that, those odds are, you've got 2,500 scholarships, over 250,000 athletes, that's one over 100 or about 1%. Not the best odds, probably not the odds you're gonna to wanna to take to Vegas and lay a wager on. If your goal is to be an FBS athlete, sign a, get, a, get awarded a scholarship to an FBS school, that's great, that's a great goal to have, but no going in, it's going to be tough your odds are going to be one in a hundred. The odds of getting a Division I scholarship are about the same no matter what sport we talk about. They vary slightly, but that ratio is going to be about the same. It's going to be about one in a hundred. Let's take a look at women's basketball now. and Let's calculate the odds for women's basketball. Let's figure the odds of landing a scholarship at the highest level of play in women's basketball, the Division I level. In order to do that, we're gonna need the same information as we did before when we calculated FBS football. We're going to need to know the number of scholarships that are available each year at the Division I level, and we need to know the number of high school seniors playing women's basketball in the United States. Again, 
A reminder, you're going to be competing nationally, competing against everybody in the country. So the number of scholarships available at the Division I level, in order to do that, we need to know how many NCAA Division I schools offer women's basketball. That's about 350. We also need to know the maximum number of scholarships that are available at the Division I level per school. The NCAA allows 15 scholarships per school for women's basketball. And again, that's not 15 per year, that's 15 in the program from incoming freshmen to seniors. So the average number of scholarships that are awarded each year is about 3.75. So to figure the total number of scholarships that are available at the Division I level, 350 schools offer women's, women's basketball. Each one of those schools awards about 3.75 scholarships per year. That comes out to just over 1,300 scholarships a year. We're going to round that to 1,300. 1,300 scholarships are awarded each year, Division I women's basketball. Now, the number of high school seniors playing women's basketball in the United States is about 130,000. So, the ratio of women basketball seniors being awarded a Division I scholarship each year is about 1,300 scholarships offered over 130,000 high school senior women playing. 1,300 over 130,000, that's one over, over 100, or about 1%. Again, pretty much the same figure as when we figured the FBS football. We could figure each sport, go through and figure each sport, the ratio of high school seniors that are being awarded scholarships at the Division I level, but they're all going to be about the same. There'd be slight variance, variance, but the bottom line is it's a long shot. It's long odds, about 1%, about 1 in 100. Know that going in. Now again, I'm not trying to burst your bubble, I'm not trying to be negative, but I think it's very important that I'm realistic, that we're realistic in this together when we're talking about the odds of getting a scholarship. The odds of receiving a scholarship in the highest level in each sport, the NCAA Division I level, is going to be about 1 in 100, 1%. And that's not 1 in 100 if you're in Kansas City, Missouri, or 1 in 100 in Boise, Idaho, or 1 in 100 in Lansing, Kansas, or 1 in 100 in New York City. That's one in a hundred, including those highly recruited, densely populated areas we talked about last episode. If your goal is to play at the highest level, period, no thought of anything else, it's division one or nothing, then great, go for it. That's your goal, that's great. But realize that the odds are going to be about one in a hundred, about 1%, not the best odds. But, if your goal is to play at the highest level possible for you and get rewarded financially with an athletic scholarship by doing something you love, by playing a sport, then there is a way of increasing the odds. There's a way of getting the odds more in your favor. And we're going to talk about that next episode. We're going to talk about expanding the pool. Thanks again for stopping by and watching this week. And thank you for allowing me to join you and your family in this recruiting journey of yours. As always, a few things that you can do that really helps me subscribe. At the very end of this video, a button's going to come up with my face on it. Click on that face. You're going to be a subscriber. That helps me a lot. It's been really awesome to see the number of subscribers go up this past couple of weeks. Like the video. Give it a thumbs up down below. That always helps me. Share this with your colleagues and your teammates. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will answer that. And if you if you would consider visiting my Patreon page and joining Team You Could Do More, that would be awesome. It's been really wonderful the past couple of weeks to see a couple of people sign up. Remember, when you join Team You Can Do More and you become a patron, you're not only investing in me in this project, you're investing in yourself. Have a great week. If you're in season, good luck in your contest. If you're out of season, work hard. Continue working hard, preparing for your upcoming seasons. Come back next week. Next week's episode will be expanding the pool. Have a great week. Bye.